Okay, Matthew, we are here to play a bit of Mario Mega. Two. And Mario Mega 2, that's right, keep me right. Uh, and it's on the Switch, the follow up to the Wii U yeah. version, which, oh, well, I don't know, they probably can't talk and play at the same time. But um, yeah. Well, uh, this is in the background, is it? Uh, this is the main menu, this is the title screen. You can actually play it. Oh, oh wow. God, you see, I am not very good at Mario. Um, so yeah, this is the follow up to the Wii U game, which I think was one of the few games in the Wii U that actually made the console worthwhile. And actually, it, it was perfect for the, the game part as well. Yeah, um, I heard that. Like it, between that and oh God, I don't even know if there was another example you could think of where the gamepad was really used to great effect. Uh, not, to, I would say Mario Maker was the best example of it. Because um, I know the other Wii U games that tended just to be a gimmick, you know, if used at all. Oh no, no. Close. I am, you know, so I'm not very good at Mario. Um, You're a Sonic boy. I'm a Sonic boy as a child. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we're going to play some Mario Maker. Have a bit of a. A look through what the game has to offer, so I will start. Uh, so you can make or play. Um, what I'll probably do is just Go we'll, play. we'll play a bit, start, show some bits off. So um, we'll have a look at the story mode first. So my Omega 1 didn't have a story mode. Uh, I think it was just online or creator. Uh, there was like a tutorial, which was like, I think there was like eight levels or something, but they were very basic. There was It was hardly a story. There was so, nothing. The story mode basically is um, Peach's castle is destroyed and you've got to do jobs to get coins and um, the Toads rebuild Peach's castle. That's right, that's what Toads are good for. I have barely played the story mode because oh God, it's, it, it, it's fairly, it's it's just there to pretty much give uh, you ideas. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. Um, and it's primarily done in the new Super Mario Bros. U style. Um, there's a few styles in the game, and when we go into the Mega, we'll we'll see it. But there's the Angry Sun. Uh, he uh, he swoops down. Oh wow, the Angry Sun looks awesome. That's that's one of the cool things about these games is that because there's a, there's a variety of styles from the different uh, Mario games, you get like say the Angry Sun here from Mario Three in the in a HD sort of reimagining. I mean that's that looks weird. That yeah, there's some. What's quite it's nice cool. is like you say they've they've kind of. There's, there's Super Mario Brothers U, Wii U, new, new Super Mario Brothers U, whatever, uh, yeah. <laughs> whatever it's called. Oh, fuck me. I, I am not good at this game. Um, which is like three, oh, fucking hell. Which is like 3D <laughs> graphics uh, on a 2D plane. Well, this is new Super Mario Brothers U. The, the 3D one is, um, is 3D Mario World. 3D World, yeah. But um, that's the one that's on like a 2D plane. Oh, oh my God. Um, yeah, so... Most of the campaign that I've seen at the moment, at least anyway, seems to be in this style. Uh, what? Oh, it's because he's <laughs> fucking big. Oh, okay. So, so, like, you've got weird things. So, like, one thing that is nice about this... Oh, my God. <laughs> um, is that because different games have different things in them... They have to, they've kind of gone back and put the everything in the old styles. So you've yeah. got Super Mario Brothers U. You've got uh, Super Mario Bros. The old original nineteen eighty six, nineteen eighty three. Oh god, whatever it is, yeah. probably neither of those years. Um, 86, I think yeah. the the original two D, very very kind of pixely pixelated one. Um, hey, somebody played my my level. I've made the kind of one level. It was really basic. Um, uh, you've got so you've got that. Uh, you've got Super Mario Bros. Three, which is the Raccoon Tail. Yeah. You've got um, Super Mario World. Super Mario World, which yeah. is the best. often considered the the best. Um, and then you've got New Super Mario Brothers U, which we already said. But separate to that, you've got Super Mario Brothers 3D World, which is like completely separate from all the other ones. So if you're making a level in the other styles, you can switch between them. Yeah, interchangeable. Whereas this other one basically like completely switches out. Uh, I don't know. Uh, West Hall, why It's not? cool. It's bizarre as well because you don't. a lot of people who have the Switch didn't have the Wii U. So it's, they aren't going to be that familiar with 3D uh, Mario 3D World. No. Not all. I'm not. I, yeah. it, it effectively to me, it feels like it is like 3D Mario from like Odyssey and Galaxy yeah. you know, on a 2D plane, with all the extended um, abilities and things like that. 
So yeah, I mean, the, the, this this tutorial is effectively a, an excuse to go through some levels, um, get some ideas and inspiration around what you can do in your own levels, and that's pretty much it. I don't think we should necessarily dwell on it because it's definitely not the um, the the best part of um, the game. And this fucking this this is the little dickhead who <laughs> blows up the castle at the start of the game. Underdog. Uh, yeah, he's the he's like the undo button in the mega. Um, oh, undo dog. Yeah, that's that's right. Undo. <laughs> uh, I like um, it. So yeah, you've seen good from the story. The <coughs> mega course world course bot. Um, yeah, one thing it's probably worth saying. So the the, the campaigns there basically for inspiration. Probably something to play when you're offline. It's been on the yeah, switch. Yeah, it's a little sample, isn't it? Um, there's also Yanamura's Dojo, which is kind of like tutorials. Um, and I haven't really done many of these either. So like fixing mistakes, we'll just go on the next one. They're like weird PowerPoint presentations between this pigeon and this this lady who shows up. Um, <laughs> and they just kind of give you ideas, give you... Co it's effectively like a, a degree course in fucking Mario <laughs> Maker. Um, That's a pretty nifty idea, especially for kids, you know what I mean? It it explains a lot, and they go quite bad. I mean, this is this is the basic one. I, I honestly, I really should um, watch some of these. Oh, so you can't? No, you've made the gap too big. <laughs> I thought that was a slight dig at the build quality of the of their own the uh, guns. Yeah, their own fucking hardware. <laughs> Oh, and now you can get over. So yeah, like the basic ones especially very much seem like child oriented, but yeah. I assume that some of them are going to be really, really kind of in-depth and teach me things that I don't know because I am not the most creative person. And I think no. part of that is I'm not very patient. I'm the same. I've always enjoyed playing the levels on this, but I never see... I created a few levels in the first game, um, but... You know, you can jump high. So yeah, like it's it's cool because it just shows you, you know, there's like more than one way to skin a cat. You can, you yeah. know, shorten the gap or make it higher and jump over. It's it's cool. It's it's nice. Um, so we'll just skip through this. I'm sure. There we go. No, we'll not watch that again. But there's there's <laughs> loads of them. There's absolutely tons. You know, testing, um, gizmos, coins, uh, difficulty, uh, intermediate. So I don't you know, think I've got the patience to sit and watch these, but I think uh, they're a good idea. Yeah, really good. Um, there's unpredictable, so you know it's piercing, jotting down course ideas on paper. So it goes beyond what you do in the game. All right. Um, and what else have you got? Oh yeah, so you've actually got like move sets for different <laughs> things. Because so while well, I said the, uh, so you know you got Super Mario Brothers, Super Mario Three, Super Mario World, Wii U, 3D World. Those, so these first four are interchangeable, but they actually do have somewhat different move sets. I think. Yeah, there should be a. Um... One of, especially the spin jump in Mario, in Mario World won't be in the first two. So like Raccoon, Super Mario World has a lot more. Yeah, so there's there's, there's a lot of, lot of stuff. And then Super Mario Brothers U, he has a few more of his kind of abilities that are in the kind of newer 3D games and obviously the propeller. Uh, and then this is a completely different beast altogether. Cooper Car, Cat Mario. Cat Mario. Um, yeah. So there's that. Uh, what else, I'll tell you what else you can do. So notifications, you, you get, uh, if you make levels, things like that, you'll get notifications through that when people yeah. like your level, give you feedback. In settings, it's, it, this is really hidden. I didn't realize. So you can do dash jump or jump dash. Uh, notifications that are on or off. Uh, comments on my courses, you can allow or don't. Uh, tags, uh, da, da. but what you can do, not in this area, but you can see carrier, uh, carrier, character lit up. Uh, right. You can play as Mario, Luigi, Toad and Toadette. Oh, right, you can choose between the... I don't um, think they change anything other than aesthetic, but I'm pretty sure that's a feature of Super Mario Brothers U. Uh, yes, but uh, Mario Brothers U, there was differences in terms of how they control, at least between Mario and Luigi. Um, so this is probably uh, the meat of the game for somebody like me. This is the course world. It's where you go online. Um, you can see my own little maker at the side. He's got the sassy uh, emote going on. Um, and my hoodie's got Mario running. Yeah, it's like, a, a, it's like an animated GIF hoodie, isn't it? Yeah, there's quite a few and you unlock them there by various things. How awesome would that be in real life? Have, like... well, probably not far off. Uh, I want to fishbone. Get some strubby heart <laughs> stuff going on. 
can get a wife beater on. That's your next door neighbor, isn't it? I think. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Banzai built here. I don't like that. Is that like Bowser Jr.? Uh, I think maybe he's. Uh, I could wear a skirt. I'm going to stick with my denim. What a. Uh... The Goo Goo onesie. Oh, God. <laughs> I want that in real life. Uh, and then you can do like different pauses. <laughs> Buoyant. Jeez. That's, that's probably me <laughs> when I'm playing this game most of the time. Uh, a normal system standing there looking happy. Hyped. I, I don't. That doesn't shout hyped to me. No, that's more aggressive. Oh, that, yeah, that's more my style. Yeah, that's 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 it. I, I like that. It's just fucking ridiculous. <laughs> um, uh, I'm gonna put on my bandai. I'm mm, no, I'm gonna go back to my hoodie. So you unlock these by doing. Uh, I think you're like getting so many likes, doing so many levels, yeah. different achievements, doing to different things. Um, so yeah, you've got that. Uh, you've got your maker profile as well. Uh, so I've got 195 maker points. I've only made one level, uh, which is my super spelunker course. You kind of go underground. Four likes, big big deal. I have to give this a go. That uh, yeah. <laughs> it's just like basic as hell. Like courses I've like. I'm pretty liberal with my likes. Um, I will dislike things if they really piss me off, <laughs> and it doesn't take much. Uh, I play a lot more as well. Um, just to see what uh, you know. I just try and all sorts of bits and pieces, uh, and I've got no records because I am really. That's a good. that's a surprise, Ben. Um, yeah, so <laughs> you've got uh, courses, which is probably the meat of it. Um, so hot courses. I'm not really sure how you get put on here. I assume it's things that are relatively new uh, yeah. that are getting a lot of likes. They must have an algorithm currently, uh, so you can refresh that. Although I don't suppose it's going to bring anything else new. Uh, a few things uh, you can do a search for it uh, by difficulty. Oh my god! Um, oh god! Yeah, I just keep it on all because I like a variety of things. I'm not a good player, so expert courses only is not something I can really do. Um, but you can see, like, if you keep refreshing it, it seems to change it up quite a lot. Yeah, there's quite a lot of courses. Like, oh, I've got a lot of courses. There's going to be a lot of courses to play. So you can have, like, an endless amount of levels in theory, but um, you can just do a popular course as well. So what's kind of popular, popular and you can do this week. Uh, so difficulty again, regions. So you can say, like, my region, America's Asia or other. You can say all time ranking or weekly. Uh, you know, so you, you get different ones. You can refresh it. Uh, new courses again. I assume these are ones that are just getting posted as and when you. Search. I used to, yeah, I used to like doing new courses because you get a, a complete mixture of badly made levels and like little hidden gems. Yeah, like they basically have nothing to tell you what it's like or not. Um, and yeah, you just click on these, and within seconds, it's downloaded and playing. And if you like it as well, you can actually um, download them permanently and keep them on your profile. Yeah. Which is quite nice. I've done that for a few that I like that I particularly liked. Um, detailed search, so yeah, you can basically run the biggest search. So game style, you can do it by game, um, which is quite nice if you like particular style theme. Jesus. So this is all the options that you have in the mega difficulty. Again, region tags. So there's, so there's like only so many tags. You know, there's not a huge amount, but. They kind of tell you what's um, what's going on. Multiplayer yeah. versus. So there is multiplayer in this game, but I'm going to tell you it is dog shit right oh, off right. the bat. Um, we'll show it off in a bit. Uh, so clear rate. So you can basically say super expert, no clear rate. Show me the hardest you got, and I'll do it. <laughs> and, you want to uh, suffer? You want to hate yourself? Uh, and you can favorite. Uh, I haven't really favorited any. So that's pretty much the the long and short of it. So I don't know. Do you want to do a uh, uh, do you want to jump into one of these new courses? Yeah. I'll hand it over to you. Thank you. First time using the D-pad on the Pro Controller. Oh, it's a revelation. <laughs> Maybe uh, not a good one, but it's fine. It's better. You know, the, the, I really like the Pro Controller on the, the Switch. It's, um, it's, it feels the ergonomics of holding it are very nice. Mm, yeah, it, it is. It's it's definitely a step up of the, the Joy-Cons, but the Joy-Cons are fine for right. like, portable and second player stuff and uh -huh. all the rest of it. Huh. Uh, got poisonous balance. That sounds yeah. impressive. Balance the sea sauce, but don't touch the poison. <laughs> it's good advice. Just for life. Just for life, and then in general, yeah. Standard, short, and sweet. That's me. These are generally the kind of the standardized platformer levels. Oh wow, this looks nice. This. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Short and sweet. Short and sweet. God, this does look nice. Right. So is this going to... I assume it's going to go back oh, down. That's because I'm... Right. Right. Let me get used to this. All right. Oh, God, the D-pad. Yeah, I can see the problem already with the D-pad. Right. Ah, uh, okay. This is quite a cool little level, actually. Yeah. Uh, do I... What? Am I missing something? I can't go over there. Can you jump up, like, onto the block? Can you do... Mm, ah, right, that, that uh, Dirty. But that might not help you. Now, do you just do a blind jump off the side? Yes, you do! <laughs> Gotta love them blind jumps. Oh god, that's gonna come back to life. Oh god, I always forget to do that. It always pisses me right off. Ah. Uh, so you meant to use a shell to jump up there. Uh, I should have used the seesaw, but I had to jump off it. Oh god, no, this is a bad idea. This is really. Oh. <laughs> there's, there's a lot of ideas in this level. <laughs> blind jumps. I, I hate blind jumps so much. It's such a trial and error thing. Do, 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 do. Uh, right, so. See, I can, I could, no, I think I meant to jump up there, but oh well, that would be a shortcut. I think you can get, keep going, I don't think Oh, I, I think that would just be a shortcut if it's designed the way you think. Right, wait until I... I think that's one of the things, well, this, I mean, we'll dip into the Mega um, after a few levels, but, um, you know, something like Little Big Planet is so open-ended. I think the beauty of uh, Mario Mega is because it gives you such a, um, such a standard toolkit... What on earth? Well, I think you might be dead. Ah, I, I think. Do you not have to? I have to go up there. I think. I'm... Do you not have to use the shell to float in the poison? No, it doesn't do anything. Oh, uh, it's a spawner. Oh, it's like a little boat, little canoe. Yeah, they say they like it's it's very inventive. There's loads of oh god, inky, ink. Are they called inkies? The what, sorry, the... The squids, are they inkies? Uh, I think so. <laughs> I can't remember the names. Uh, right, yeah, that's right. Ink squids. Nope. Oh. <laughs> right, I've got to stop jumping. I've got to just skid through them, I think. You're just trying to be too fancy. I think so. If I can... Too many fish. Get away, fish. Do they not hurt you then? I was Sorry. just above the, the hitbox. Oh. oh, you were so close to the end. I did yeah. not realise you were so close. Oh, that was a cool little level. Yeah, a bit of basic. Uh... Oh. What can, you say? what can you say? A world record, Matty. That's it. <laughs> uh, see if there's quickly. Um... Tell you what, I'll go to. At the very top. Let's see what's popular at the moment. 20 second cannonball cavers. So I know that these levels, essentially, they're designed. In a way that I think you have 20 seconds. Of, yeah, like you have to finish it in 20 seconds, but you, you don't finish it all. Non stop. Um, what's I've, the I've done a few of these where everyone has the world record basically. 
I won't be able to finish this, I don't think. <laughs> so let's, it takes a few to work out. It's going to run straight away. Oh my god. Oh, 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 oh. Sometimes, actually, I think Mario Brothers levels are actually the best because they're like, kind of the purest. Yeah. So I'm you got to jump, jump over that and, and then catch bounce. that. Yeah. Fucking hell! Like, it's trial and error. No, oh, that was too, oh, I was, you, you've got to hold down the run button before the level actually starts because it'd be just mini seconds off. All right. Oh, well done. Oh, what? Oh. <laughs> I honestly thought you had it there. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> so, I held the jump button. Yeah, like not a jump on that top one. I've got to let, off, let go of the jump button when I get... Oh, God. No, no. <laughs> no, it's not all that. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, to be fair, you're not the only one. Oh my right. god! You've got to learn as you do it, so you either hold down the, the jump button to bounce off. Or just let it throw you. Yeah. It's, you're right, yeah, you're right. It's either very trial and error or you've got to be the Lucky. quickest fucking reacting person. So this part's just easy. And then here, we've got it. Easy. <laughs> Why not? Jesus Christ. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> tricky fucking thing. They're cool little levels then. They are They're really fun. good. That's what I want to like. Yeah. Generous. <laughs> But it's it's it, especially with the the older Mario Maker, um, it's quite. I'll tell me what you can do actually if you click on the little three the comments. Yeah, well, uh, so you can do text. Um, you can do the actual drawing, which if you've got the touch screen on the Switch is better. Um, or you can just kind of do a pre-configured like picture with a message on it, like a stamp. It's called. So if, uh, I think if you back out of that, if you press the OK, uh, if you press the plus. Uh, yeah, you got the stamps, which are just literally like Mario themed. Yeah. Um, but I'd imagine they get really old fast. Yeah, they, they're pretty much all the same. And you can also put a, a face of like how you felt. It's very like kindergarten, like, how, you know, draw us a face to tell us how you feel. Post nothing. <laughs> Does it let me do that? Oh, it does. Perfect. Uh, yeah, it's just going to be me. Yeah, gonna... <laughs> yeah. Great. Um, 19 seconds, mate. Well done. World record. That's what I am. I am the world best. <laughs> um, do you want to have a look at the Mega? Yes. Uh, so actually, before we go there, so leaderboards uh, is just, you know, who's the best course maker in the world? Um, or at least the highest scoring um, and you can uh, I think if you click on them you can have a look at their bits and pieces so I'm guessing these have uploaded popular courses I'd imagine so yeah hmm and you can play them um, you can see what they've liked what they hold the world it's basically that profile we were shown before but for other people yeah um you can see who the best players are, who's got the world records and things like that. Um, Jesus. What? That Just can't be right. People who play courses. 17,396 courses. Yeah, there's a lot of courses out there. Oh, God. That's course clears, by the way. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, that, 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 there's, there's like basically that versus players. No, no, I honestly don't know who's going to be doing versus because we can I, can. I can show you that. So, Endless Challenge is probably worth looking at before the network play. Um, so, basically, what you do is you pick a difficulty and it will pick, it will randomly draft levels of that difficulty. Oh, yes, this was in the first one. And you've got to complete as many as you can before losing all your lives. Should I give it a go? Yeah. Um, so, I, I start playing on easy because I am not good at this game. Good. Be like an easy level. Some of the easy thing is though, because obviously it's it, there's only a degree of like understanding what difficulty is. It's I think it's based on pass rate, isn't it? Versus, is it? Uh, I think that's how they work it out. 
because I've been on some easy ones which were horrible. <laughs> and I just like burn my lives on them. I don't even. All oh, right. Do you have to run ahead and use them as a bridge before they pass? I mean, it's got no name. On this it's dot 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 dot. Oh, oh fuck me! I don't think this is easy. Yeah, this is more annoying than anything else. Let's go straight into it. No, I have to wait for that one. Right, so let's stand on here, wait for that. No, and let's get squished. I think you just got to go fast. Yeah. So it's effectively a race. Right, that's another 20 second level pretty much. Oh god. Oh, you did it, you did it. I think you're just gonna come out and go through the middle. Uh, no, no, you're not, you're not. the key. Oh! Squish him, you go in there. Pro, man, pro. That's. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna come out and drop into the finish line. Hey. Do. Oh, I used to like when it did like the the, the black kind of. This is the circle thing again. Oil. Yeah. Uh, right. Uh, that's. I'll quit that. Should we take a look at the mega? Yeah. Uh, so if you press uh, the plus button, and then we can go to course maker. So this is probably the meat of the game for a lot of people. So I don't know if you can remember, but this is the level that we were playing on the title screen at the beginning. Yeah. Um, but what you can do is if you uh, press right on the D-pad, I think, you go into that menu, if you click the rocket ship at the bottom, it's going to blow it up. I will say my first impression immediately is that this seems this will take some getting used to because on the first Mario Maker, you just used a touch screen yes. to draw the the levels, and it was so it was so you know. And you can still do that if you've got the switch in handheld. Right. I would say that the the means of making a level is far better in handheld mode. Yeah, it would um, be. It's it's fine on the big screen, but I would definitely say get yourself a resistive stylus and. Just go to town with the handheld mode, but we cannot uh, record from that. Um, what's probably worth doing is if you go into the left hand menu, it, this is kind of like the overarching thing. So you've got the different styles. Um, so if you click it, it'll just instantly change it to that style. Um, and if you go to, uh, yeah, you've got different themes, and it's quite a lot. So you've got snow. Ooh, I'll tell you what I want to do. Um, let's mix and match. Let's find levels, course themes. Uh... So you've got like, you know, you've got your, your grassy underground sky levels, underwater airships, you know, you've got all those classic Bowser castles, <laughs> uh, you know, just, just typical Mario shit. Um, and some of the best levels online are very heavily themed. Um, so yeah, you can auto scroll, uh, <coughs> clear conditions. So this is new to, I think this is new to Super Mario Maker 2. Yeah, it is. Where you can basically set conditions like, um, reach the goal without taking damage, get so many coins, don't, uh, don't leave the ground once you've, uh, left and landed, mm. uh, finish with Yoshi. Um, there's all sorts of different stuff. Obviously you have to build something before it lets you choose them. Mario's uh, Trail. So that shows you when you play test the game, it'll show you where you've gone so you can... Yeah, that, that's a good way to work out jumps and... Um, right, uh, how do I... So if you press Y... Uh, it's not, uh, that's the wrong one. Ah. So there's different terrain, there's, there's a ton of stuff really. Uh, you can do slopes, which are new to Mario Mega 2. What? Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'll tell you what might be worth doing actually, uh, switch to Super Mario Bros. 3D World because we've not actually seen it. 
So if you do this, it has to think a little bit longer. And this is a completely separate style to everything else. It's got a lot more options and things like that. So let's go back up here. So if you do it by the D-pad, if you press up, you'll go to the up menu, uh, you know, things like that. Um, I think if you press Y, you'll go into the search. Yeah, which is your wheel, so you can get ground. If you just get ground, you can start painting the ground. And it is literally just placing it with the A, I think. I think you can hold it and just, yeah, slide along. And it plays the Mario theme as you... Yeah, that was the same in, Mar in the first one. Um, and then let's just put... Uh... Just a little, little jump. <laughs> You're never going to be able to do this. Oops. Uh, <laughs> just pressing all the wrong buttons here. What are you trying to do? Trying to get back into here. Right, so I've got that. And up we go. Hmm. So what are you uh, going for? Clear pipes. Ah, oh, clear pipes. Now. So you clear have to pipe. trace the pipe. Do you know what clear pipes aren't traditional pipes? They're the ones that you fly through. Oh, right. Yeah, you need normal idea. pipes. If that's what you're going for. And then if can you I... grab it, you can tilt it. Oops. You grab it by the node at the top. The what, sorry? The... Yeah, the yellow node, yeah. Ah. You can drag it. There we go. Put that there. Let's... Uh... Oh, move Mario. <laughs> Is that just to make it realistic? Kind of a pipe going nowhere. Kind of, yeah. Surround it, make it nice. And then what I can do is... Uh... Ah, here we go. Yeah, these menus are different, obviously, from the first game. Um... Yeah, they, they've tried to adapt them for contr more controller-based input. They're all radial menus. Uh, Jumbo, what happens is like the pipe is a basic part, like thing, and you can click on the pipe once you've placed oh, it. Oh Jesus! Uh, press B to undo. If you press and hold B, you'll uh, undo it. That's nice. That's what you undo. There we go. But well, you can like there's no <laughs> spike blocks. You can lo link up to an on-off button, and like how if you press the off button, the spikes will go in. Right. Things like that. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm doing there. You're never going to be able to do this. But um, what else can you do? Right. You can do just a, a ton of shit. So like, if you click on the um, the pipe you've placed, uh, finger cursor, and we go on there. So if you like, click and hold, you can choose it. So like, it's different speeds of pipe. So if you um, if you put like an enemy in there, it's the different speeds at which those enemies will right. be produced. Yeah. Or you can give that green arrow at the end, which means it's a like a, a go through pipe, which will take you to another area. So as far as I'm aware, you can only have two areas in a given level and you switch between them. Uh, and when you create a second area, you can see whether it's going to be a horizontal or a vertical based one. So you can create like long, tall vertical ones where like lava will chase you through a pipe or whatever, you know, and you can mix and match between them. So that's where you come out and you can build like a second plane. Um, and if you see the, that two in the bottom, if you click on that, uh, yeah, so you can click on the two and switch between the one and the two right. uh, to make your levels a little bit more complicated. Well, let's let's see how this is going so far. <laughs> <laughs> so I think if you click on Mario and drag him, he'll go. You can put him back at the beginning. And if you press uh, the minus button, oh, that's the capture button. Uh, it's the other one. Oh god, the perspective on this is weird. Oh, I can, yeah. Nope. <laughs> it's a good start. No, don't start there. Oh. Let's do a reverse order. Nope. That was the D-pad. I'm sure it was, mate. <laughs> that was. Right, um... Let's drag Mario back here. 
Yeah, um, like I say, I'm not really one for building levels. Um, not without, you know, sitting down and... Oh, I mean, you, you seriously need to think about it. It's like a, it's a really, really big um, undertaking. I think it's because you're not directly under it. Put a couple of blocks there so you can just stand on them. You can bounce up to the blocks. You can do is... Just type up. Uh, press up. Just put some of the uh, brick blocks below. Uh, Doesn't help that I'm not too familiar with the uh, Nintendo layout. All right, um, let's see. It. You jump onto there. You hit. Out the way, Mario. And that should be enough to get you through that pipe. At which point you're just going to fall into oblivion. Yeah, <laughs> which is you know that's how you want it, isn't it? But yeah, I think it's because you've got this like really established, <laughs> yeah, really established tool set. Uh, it's it's more about being creative with it. So the, one, the, the one the one thing I do like about this is, I mean, they hinted towards it in the like the the tutorial part is the idea of jotting down like a layout for a level, mm. so you at work like me and your board because you've got nothing to do. <laughs> sit there and get ideas for a level. Yeah, and you can take inspiration from all sorts like themes, ideas, mechanics. Um, and it's just finding a way to be clever enough to then put that into practice, basically. <laughs> I tell you what, I can show you the level that I put together. Uh -huh. um, where do we go? Where do we go? Go back to Course World, because uh, I did want to show some multiplayer as well, but... Oh, yes. Um, Make a profile. So upload a course, you can't upload a course unless you play it um, all the way through to completion. Right. Yeah, that, that, that was the, the case in the first game. Makes sense. Um, so I'll give it back <coughs> to you. So this is uh, just a basic level. I just wanted to make something that was a somewhat functional Mario level. <laughs> right. Can't help but collect all the coins even though I don't need them for anything. That didn't work out. I'm never really sure what one of to do in this game because it's not like you have lives. Uh, you know when you do the endless challenge? Yeah. That's where I, the lives come in handy. Yeah, I suppose it's just for points on course runs. I think people just like collecting them anyway. Oh shit. You're liking your pipes? I use them as like an aesthetic. Yeah. <laughs> hey, cheeky little cut in there. That was it. It took me about three yeah. hours. But you know, <laughs> it's sometimes that's what you want. You want a level that is like because that's like at least like it's just, simple but playable. It's not um, it's short, but it's not complete bullshit. Oh yeah, like that was that was the whole thing I wanted to do. I thought kind of make something that just plays like halfway decent. Because I think the um, case in the first Mario Maker was there was so much effort to try and make unique or difficult or w gimmicky courses that you just wanted to play a simple Mario level. So. <clears throat> this is the bullshit part of the game. Yep. Um, it's online, so you can play it. You can play locally, but you each need Mario Maker on a Switch. And right. That's an expensive fucking do. You can play cooperatively or versus, so you're basically racing. Um, it doesn't really matter because it's unfucking playable. Uh, hmm. So basically, it's random. You can't play with friends. That's and, brilliant. Genius. I mean, the, the, you so beyond wanting to play with them because it's bullshit and almost unplayable. You can't even use people on your friends list for your Switch to look at what levels and things they're doing. I, I don't like at this point. It's like it seems the backwardness is deliberate. <laughs> like it, it, it feels like malicious. It's out of spite, isn't it? It's just like these are such basic expectations. I mean, Xbox was doing it back in 
the original Xbox. Like in 2005. Like the 360, but before that, with the, the original Xbox, I think I'm sure. Oh, yeah, like, I, yeah, friends list and stuff, like, social integration was fantastic on the original Xbox Live for, for the day, like. It's so simple, easy. I'm, there we go. go. So, that didn't work. Um, let's see versus working because I wanted to at least put me in a match because my experience has so far been an unplayable shutter sly bullshit piece of rubbish mm -hmm. followed by network errors within 30 seconds brilliant you know we need another um we need another, another lawsuit against Nintendo if they're just being complete dicks <laughs> everyone's doing it they look like a fucking boy band <laughs> oh I'm Luigi Oh. Here we go. But I just want to show it. <coughs> oh. Oh. Oh, here we go. The lag starting. Oh, up. God almighty. This is... This oh, is fuck me. Oh, God. Look at that. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> it's like stuttering. This is yeah. one of the better ones I've seen, actually. I just don't understand Nintendo. I, don't, I really don't. Jesus Christ. This seems terrible, Ben. Even if it was working well, this seems terrible. Uh, yeah, it is. It's it's an absolute clusterfuck. Oh, and you need a Nintendo subscription to play this, don't you? Uh, yes, you do. Uh, they've actually been selling, like... Oh, a limited edition, didn't it? Okay. Yeah, oh, it was basically just like a discounted version of Nintendo Online. And, like, Nintendo Online still doesn't seem like it's worth it. No, it doesn't but at the same time, it's cheap enough that yeah, it's not worth worrying about. Oh, it's like twenty pound a year or something. Yeah, if that. Yeah. I mean, it, it, Twitch should doing a big thing if you've got Twitch Prime. I've probably made a mistake here. Um, if you got Twitch Prime, you can pretty much get it for free at the moment. A year for free at least. Maybe you're smart going the other way because they're all fighting each other down there. I've caught up with them. To be honest, this is the best I've seen it. It's actually. It's stuttering and lagging, but a little bit. But normally, it just errors out and dies like instantly. All, all levels like this, where you're breaking down terrain. No, it's no. just this is a Mario Maker. It's, somebody's made this. It's all Mario Maker stuff, but they've labeled them as versus levels. What this should have been is four lanes. Because. And, our, and then, like, your ability to race through them. But I'm thinking, like, okay, you've designed a level with two roads. Like, how much was that player tested to make sure they were equal, you know? Like, there's a certain lack of quality control you get from... Well, that's going to be the thing on a multiplayer game, isn't it? Oh, God, Ben. It's... Oh, God, is it, is it... So what, have we got to... Oh, God, it's lagging. Find the key. Oh, <laughs> that's chugging so much. Yep. What the fuck have I just done there? Oh, the key's there. Oh, what is this? <laughs> oh. It's not... I, I heard this I was one of the big complaints of um, Super Mario Bros. U, though. Uh, Super Mario Bros. U, what sense? Uh, like, like, the co-op was bullshit. Oh, I never... At least with, with the... Oh my god, she's like boxing us in, the fucking bitch. No, she's boxed in. <laughs> oh my god, this is torture. This is nightmare. I can't believe. <laughs> yeah, I mean, oh, don't use this feature. It's not worth it. I, I'm not actually playing now. You can't do shit. If you're little, you're fucked. Maybe that's just an analogy for like playground <laughs> rules, I don't know, prison rules. <laughs> you think this is speaking to a great man? Oh, this yeah. is not. What's he doing? Just boxing me in? This seems like a really badly made mod. <laughs> yeah, it does, doesn't it? I don't like Luigi. 
It's not his fault this <laughs> this feature's busted. Oh fuck oh. you. Look how he runs. I don't like Toadette, like, she seems like a character that's just crammed into everything nowadays. Uh, it's just an ex- uh, it's, it, it takes the box, doesn't it? It gives them an extra character. I mean, you, you've seen the Mario Kart roster where it's just oh, it's infinite she, she, thing. She right. is, but she's in the Mario Kart roster now. Yeah. Ah, you fucking bitch. Um, <laughs> I mean, it still stood as this is one of the better examples of this game of of this mode I've seen. Yeah. But I've always wondered that about Nintendo Online in general because I'd imagine a lot of people playing the multiplayer games might be in portable mode where the Wi-Fi is poor, or you know. I think I should win that. I got the highest. <laughs> you did. I think you all lost that one. That was terrible. Yeah, I think we all. Everyone who's watched this and yeah. seen it has all lost. God, that's bad. Fuck you! <laughs> Meh. So that is like a, a quick run through, really. I think you'll, you won't have seen the best of it with us playing, but I think this is a great game for for dicking about with. Yeah, I'll completely. It's the ultimate jump into play a couple of levels or... Yeah, yeah, completely. You know, you can, you can put time into it and you can design levels and courses and... Um, yeah, I mean, this is a game that you will really, your mileage may vary, but yeah. at the end of the day, it is like some of the best, it's like an endless version of one of the best platformers ever made. And if you yeah. like 2D platforming, you're probably going to find some enjoyment of this. I think it's, it's, yeah, I think it's definitely a, good. I think it's, it's worth it. Um, you know, the good points are the community's really embraced it because it's a sequel. The the quality of levels is starting from a much higher plateau than the original, or yeah. so I've been led to believe. Um, it's Mario, it's the better, it's some of the better Mario that they've ever made. Yeah. Um, it, there's endless content in theme, in, in theory. Um, the negatives are you need Nintendo Online to play this and get any money's worth out of it whatsoever. I think the, the other big negative for me is like it feels a downgrade because of the limitation of the Switch in terms of using it in handheld mode. Obviously, you can't use a screen and the tablet at the same time. No, you can't. It's which, fine. It's fine as it is, but on the Wii U, that was brilliant because you were literally just, you know. It was so intuitive. Oh, yeah, yeah, but it's not a problem you can get round. You probably just take some time to get used to it. It's fine. It's quick um, once you get used to it. Handheld mode's fine. You just literally scribble on the screen. It's, it's all right. My, my screen looks minging now because I've been touching too much. Yeah. Um, I think the negatives are the fact that you need online player to get any value out of this whatsoever, really, and the multiplayer is bullshit. Um, but other than that, I think, oh, yeah, it's that's, pretty, that's pretty very good. Important. Oh, my God, this is your level. It is. Fucking let's, hell. let's see if you can do it into the pit. Um, I think that's a very important point here that you need the online subscription in order to get value from this game. Yeah, definitely, definitely worth it. But I mean, you know, in the end, it's Mario. No, that's. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> it's a badly made level. It is. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so yeah, that's Super Mario Omega on the Switch. Super Mario Omega Two. My apologies. Um, it's it's pretty good. Yeah. For the most part. Um, yeah. Yeah.